It took Pepperdine 12 hours to make it from Malibu to Mount Pleasant, Michigan on Friday. On Saturday, the Waves taking on Central Michigan. Would it be a worthwhile trip for Pepperdine? Let's find out. First half action, first possession of the game for the Waves. We'd be seeing a lot of this. Stacy Davis burying the jumper. Another good game from the outside for the Waves. Here's Malty Kramer from the right corner, 4-3. And transition, Brendan Lane with the layup. One more time, here's Malty Kramer again, his second three-pointer of the first half. Jeremy Major with it. He's going to take it inside against the big guys. Up and in, putting the Waves up by six points. Here's Stacy Davis again. Let him shoot. Yes, he'll make it. Final minute of the first half. This shot's off. Brendan Lane's going to go for it. It's going to end up in Lamont Murray's hands. He's going to sink the jumper. However, Central Michigan will go on to a 41-38 lead at halftime. The second half, however, all Pepperdine. Just like the first half started, here's the first possession of the second half. Stacy Davis sinking another jumper. Next possession, a little high-low. Brendan Lane down to Stacy Davis in for an easy two. Waves continuing to heat up. Here's Malcolm Brooks in the corner for three. Waves up 45-43. They never trail again. The Waves hit 11 of their first 13 shots in the second half. Here's Jeremy Major finding Brendan Lane for a nice lay. Waves hitting everything. Jeff Van Dyke for three. Austin Mills hit two threes in a row. Here's his second one, giving the Waves a 10-point lead. Stacy Davis was 10 for 14 from the field. Here he is again, another jumper. Banks it in. Stacy Davis. Hey, he's four for four from the three-point line this season. Why not? Brendan Lane down to Jeremy Major, up and in for two. This isn't an instant replay, but almost immediately Lane to Major again. Nico Scowan would hit back-to-back -back three pointers. This the second one put the waves up by 17 points. Now Austin Mills feeds Brendan Lane, the big man, up and in, waves up by 19. Pepperdine goes on to defeat Central Michigan 88-71 to with his first 3-0 start since the 1998-99 season. Let's hear from head coach Marty Wilson. I'm very, very excited about what, we, what we've done uh, tonight. But our preparation at, when we left Malibu, when we got here late, uh, watching video, our walkthrough, our guys bought into our game plan. Uh, they stuck to it. And they executed it at, at both ends. Okay, we moved the ball. We moved with purpose. Uh, the, the open men got the ball. Uh, defensively, we stayed home. We knew they wanted to shoot threes. Uh, we contested and made them take tough shots. And then we finished it with the great rebound. Uh, but the thing I'm most proud of are our two young point guards. Uh, they had 12 assists, one turnover combined. And as a team, we had 24 assists to 34 baskets. That's an unselfish team. Obviously, Stacy and Brennan had, had big games again, as, as they've been doing, but it just seemed whoever you put out there, uh, whatever lineup you had there in the second half, it, things clicked. It was, it was a good flow. Obviously, with, with both of those guys, Brennan and Stacy, uh, they command a lot of attention, so everybody else is going to be able to feed off of how they're playing. So when they're scoring, now you have to adjust. And then when they creep in, now the shooters are allowed to get their shots, and then you have to pick your poison on those guys. And if we do our job by moving the ball, moving with purpose, uh, finding the open man, turning a good shot to a great shot, then good things are going to happen for us.